Hello everyone, we have here logarithmic exponential equation. Natural logarithm of the quantity e to the power of 2x cubed minus natural logarithm of the quantity e to the power of 2x squared equals 8. And in this video, we'll be solving for the real values of x. So in here, our first step, we'll be using one of the properties of uh, logarithm, the quotient rule. That is natural logarithm of a minus natural logarithm of b equal to natural logarithm of a divided by b. That's the quotient formula. Same way if we deal with the common logarithm, this is just converted ln, just converted to log. So that is log logarithm of a minus logarithm of b is equals logarithm of a divided by b. So in here, since we're doing the natural logarithm, we'll be using this formula. So so going back to our equation, this is now can be written as natural logarithm of e to the power of 2x cubed divided by this quantity e to the power of 2x is squared is equal to 8. The next step will be converting this equation into exponential form. Since natural logarithm is a logarithm of base e, so we have this e down here as base convert it into exponential form follow the arrow so this is now e to the power of 8 is equal to this quantity so that is e to the power of 2x cubed divided by e to the power of 2x squared this is from the basic logarithm formula natural logarithm of a is equal to x this is base e so this is equal to e to the x is equal to a. So this is the conversion to exponential form. Or this can be done the same way. If this is natural logarithm of a is equal to x, we have to do is exponentiate both sides of the equation. Base e, we got base e on the other side. So this, this will be equal to, so ln e raised to natural logarithm that's base e right there is equal to 1. So we ended up canceling that. So we have here is a is equal to e to the power of x. That's the same way. So in here, we use this first formula instead of this second formula. So we use this. But either way, we can use the same. It will be the same effect. So going back to our equation. We can simplify the right hand side so, since we have the same base we, i can put this to the numerator from the denominator so from here numerator is e to the power of 2x cubed and putting this denominator to the numerator we will have negative exponent so e to the power of negative 2x is squared left hand side remain the same e to the power of 8 to the right hand side of the equation, we used the formula from conversion of the uh, denominator going up to the numerator. We have a positive exponent from the denominator go up, and we have a negative exponent. So from the formula, let's say 1 divided by a to the power of m, positive m, is equal to a to the power of m, that's negative going up to from the denominator to the numerator or the other way around let's say a to the power of m is equal to taking down to the denominator from the numerator will be one divided by a to the power of negative m so in our equation on here we use this formula all right so we ended up the exponent is negative okay now the right hand side can be written the same way as since they both have the same base now we can add the exponent so that is e to the power of 2x cubed plus negative 2x squared and left hand side the same and in here we use the formula having uh, the same base that is a to the power of m times a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So we ended up adding the exponent. 
So they have the same base, so we ended up adding the exponent. All right. And back to our equation. If you notice, left and right hand side of the equation, they have the same base. So that means we can equate their exponents. All right. So this is now 8 is equal to the exponent on the right hand side, 2x cubed minus 2x squared. So this is from exponent formula. That's a raised to m equals a raised to n. We have the same base. That means we can equate the exponent. m is equal to n. So this is now m is equal to n. Now arranging the equation, we're not putting, transposing it to the right hand side. So this is now 2x cubed minus 2x squared minus 8 equals 0. Now, if you take a look at our equation, we can still reduce it into its lowest term. So, dividing by 2, so this is now x cubed minus x squared minus 8 divided by 2, that will be 4, and is equal to 0. Our equation is now transformed into cubic equation. If you notice that, we have the exponent 3 right here. Now, to find for the value of x, we'll be using the guess and check method to find the first root of x. Since this is a cubic equation, we'll be having three roots of x, right? So taking the first root by guess and check method. So we plug in a number in place of x to make it equal to zero. This uh, sum of or difference sum of these terms right here will be equal to zero. So we start by one. If we put one, it'll be one minus one. So that will be negative four, it won't be zero. If we start two, uh, the next one is 2, I should say. If we put 2 as x, that's 2 cubed minus 2 squared minus 4. Is this equal to 0? So in here, 2 to the third is 8. And the second power is 4. And minus 4, is this equal to 0? So in here, 8 minus 4 is 4. And minus 4 is 0. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So we have just found one root of x, which is equal to 2. That's the number that we substituted in place of x. So from here now, since the value of x, first root is 2, that means the first factor is x minus 2. So that's the first factor of this, or first factor of this expression or equation. Now, since we have found the first root of x, we will be looking for the other two roots of x from this cubic equation. So to do that is to divide this uh, expression by x minus 2, the first factor. So we have here the expression x cubed minus x squared minus 4. We divide this by the first factor that we got. So that is x minus 2. All right, to find the other two roots of x. So by long division, we do that. So x cubed divided by x, that is x squared. x squared times x, that's x cubed. x squared times negative 2, that's negative 2x squared. Subtracting it, this cancels. This is now positive. So that is 2x squared minus x squared, that's x squared. My, bring down 4, that's negative 4 x squared divided by x, that will be positive x. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 2, that's negative 2x. Subtract that one again, so this cancels. This is now positive, and this is now 2x minus 4. So 2x divided by x, that will be 2. So this is plus 2, positive 2. 2 times x, that's 2x. 2 times negative 2, that's negative 4. So subtract this again. So this ended, uh, this ended up canceling both, so this is 0. So we have just found the other factor. So we write it over here. So this x squared plus x plus 2. So to find for the value of x, we equate this into 0. And we can do quadratic formula. Or we can do find the discriminant first to determine if there would be a real root of x on this uh, equation.
or in this expression, right? So let's do the uh, discriminant, find the value of the discriminant. Delta is equal to B squared minus 4AC. This is the radicand that's under the radical sign of the quadratic formula. If we get a negative result of this discriminant, that means this is less than zero, then the other two roots of x would be in complex number. Let's get the value of the discriminant. So let's label this a coefficient of first term on the left is 1, b is 1, and c is 2. b squared is 1 squared minus 4, a is 1, and c is 2, so times 2. So 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 2 is 8. We have the value of our discriminant is equal to 1 minus 8 is negative 7. So this is less than 0. So that means we cannot use this solution, the other two roots of x, because it will be, this both will be in the form of complex number since we are just dealing with the uh, real values of x over here. So the value of x that we have found earlier, x is equal to 2 is the only real solution to this problem. All right, so that is now our final answer, x is equal to 2. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, if you like this video, just don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Hit that notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload new videos or you may go to my channel and check out my playlist solving exponential equations. All right. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.